into the first match. Three, two, one, go. Everything pretty even right now between these players. This guy's just kind of playing it safe. Both got pretty good projectiles for zoning. And I mean, the angles that Pichu's come down, they can be very impressive. We have Yoshi off stage, but no edge guard coming in from Potato. But another back air. Getting caught by that. Ooh, and had a read on him, but just a little bit off the mark. Never had a shield there from Potato. He's uh, not afraid to go out there. And BITL being a little scared there, air dodging up, knowing that would avail to nothing. And we have Tato taking the first lead of the set. Let's see how BITL answers back. And he might not be able to answer back at all because he is dead once again. Stay away from me. That's two stops gone. These nerfs not enough. Ooh, but finally, the ITL taking the first stock. A little drag down action going on. Loops. Ooh, just gonna armor right through that. Good for you, Yoshi. The ITL having the awareness to just mash, just get out of there as fast as possible. Any other character, and it might have been Curtin. Still has his jump, making it back to stage. Get some good damage with the dare. Not living that edge guard. Potato taking the first game. Saying these nerves aren't stopping me. Still playing Pichu. Pichu's still good. He still believes, and that's the most important part. Maybe he just hasn't uh, maybe he hasn't found a new main yet, but we'll never really know. Unless we hear it from the horse's mouth. Uh, going into game two here, these guys are going right back. One day we'll get a QOL update and your characters will still be there after the match. But before that, we've got this game. Now the wrong Kalos, got a bit more room to, room to move around, a bit of a bigger stage. You may see a bit more slower nuance play from these two. The ITL taking the first lead is off stage and no armor is going to get you through that, but he makes it back. I was honestly not expecting that. But more power to you. But Potato just putting on endless pressure and, you know, if one dare is not enough, why not just go for another? Get him out of here. In the lead. Are we going to see some loops? Are we going to see some loops? We have the drag down. One more? Oh, and he jumps right out. Yeah, man. We got that heavy armor. It's just, uh, you know, Yoshi's a little get out of jail free card. Gonna get nared there trying to get off the ledge. A little too aggressive for BITL's taste. Potato still in the lead. Ooh, nice tech from BITL. Has him above him. Potato sharking. Now has him off stage. And the raw up smash. Get away from me, you know? A little flash clip coming in there from Yoshi. Just uh, wants his opponent off. Now he's evened up the stocks. Ooh, and just barely missing that. That 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 would have been the stock, probably. That is one strong move. Even though he's not not getting the thunder punch, still you know still applying pressure. A couple F tilts and eventually you'll get the you'll get the kill. Now with an even bigger lead than before, just. Putting on damage. Ooh, had the chase down, was ready, but the walk not gonna be enough. Now, does BITL have too much dip on his chip, or can he bring this back? Not gonna find a forward air there. 
Potato just doing his thing. The Nera Shield. We have a reset. He's going for the big damage. He's going for the optimal stuff. Oh, Yoshi jumping out right at the last second. And that, that down B will do it. Yoshi back in this. This is anyone's game, really. I mean, Peach's Light is a feather. Let's be honest. Featherweight, balloon weight, whatever you want to call it. This character dies early. Yoshi has some decent kill power, can have some trouble finding some confirms. We'll see what happens here. And the forward smash, getting up from the ledge aggressively again, he's gonna get punished. Yeah. Yeah. Two stock victory there from